What is up guys, it's me Shanks Wrestling Show and today I'm talking about five people who have grown on me and uh, since they debuted on the main roster and all that like today's today's superstars on the WWE so number one, uh, coming in at number five is Rusev he deserves he deserves a main roster main main event title he, he's grown up definitely grown on me definitely these last few months um, he, he's coming back from injury next month and he's asking for a world heavyweight title shot and I think he deserves it uh, because he's a former United States champion and he's one of these big guys who needs a world heavyweight title so definitely needs he's grown on me a little bit I like his hair like he used to be have longer hair long hair now he's got short really short hair and I'm just growing on me number four he's been here been there been here for been in WWE for like 10 years now it's Zack Ryder and uh He's a former tag team champion with Kurt Hawkins and a former United States champion and a uh, United uh, former Intercontinental champion. Um, but when he started, I didn't really like. I didn't really care a little bit. I did care, but not really much with Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. Um, he deserves. What he's given, he g deserves more than he's given, really. He's injured at the moment, uh, but he, he's, um, so I think he deserves more. Number, number three is, um, Dean Ambrose. When he was in the Shield start off, I didn't. Didn't really like the shield, but uh, he was growing growing on me. And then I liked him when he was in when he left the shield. I uh, I found him hilarious at, at start, but now he's it, his uh, gimmick is brilliant. Number two, it's another shield member, former shield member, Seth Rollins. He didn't really like him at the start. Didn't really like him when he was when he left the Shield. But um, when he won the WWE title, World title, I thought this 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 is this is what this is what he needs a title. He, he that WWE title made him better than he was back then. I prefer him now. He he suits the main main event card. He suits it. At the time, I didn't really think he suited it, but at the time when Brock Lesnar had the title, he des I need we needed someone new, fresh, slash a full timer to win the title. So Seth Rollins was a good pick. At the, at the time, now he's a main carder, and I'm enjoying it. I, uh, I've enjoyed it as him ever since. And number one, since November of 2015, is Bray Wyatt. Since then, well, you know, I didn't like him at the start. I didn't really like it. Didn't like the gimmick, but. It grown on me um, when he had the fruit, uh, fruit. Uh, you, you know uh, the feud. That's it. The feud with Undertaker and Kane. That was awesome. When he, in it, when he was in the Wyatt family, he was in London at the time. The there was a promo where um, all this thunder and lightning and all that came on and. 
I, I thought that was an epic promo. I like the pro promo with jo when he done the John Cena singing singing the whole world in his hands with the kids and all that. I enjoyed that, but I really enjoyed. And ever since then, Bray Wyatt was grown on me. I like him a lot now, and when he won the WWE title, I was happy that he won it. Um, I like I like Bray Wyatt at the moment. I cheer, I do cheer for him all the time. I was cheering for him uh, at WrestleMania. I was cheering for him at Payback, and that that was it. So leave a like, comment, and subscri subscribe. Uh, get, tell me who you think uh, is growing on you. Maybe it's one of the people I mentioned or someone else. Uh, I don't think Ginger Mahal has grown on me. I, I just don't think he had the proper push that he needs. So I don't really like, think he's good. Right guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.